Hello and welcome back everybody. Mr. Tim here playing a little bit more of No One Survived. And I think I just want to show you, I know we left off the other day and I've done quite a bit more as far as building. Um, did a lot of that off camera. I just went ahead and covered this gap between my command post. But you see how there's that gap because I can't build along this edge. Move my Christmas tree out here. Ended up doing an experiment. I have the quarry. I destroyed the log hut because all she kept bringing me was wood, wood, wood. So I just destroyed that. We're going to see what happens. But then I also threw up the livestock pen. Not the one that I can build, but for the NPCs. And um, this pig appeared out of nowhere. Just rolled over to the new knight. So I'm actually curious. Let's take a look together here. I pulled out all the wood from before. And I did change this to average. Nice. Nice. So now she's bringing me pork and some saltpeter, finally. Cool. So that was a trick. Just had to delete the log cabin piece. Alrighty, let's throw this meat in the fridge. Turn on the fridge. sink and just got clean water but it's all good you knew all right got that stocked up I got the canner up and running. I just did a lot of the uh, basic stuff that you're going to be doing. Got the canner, threw up a weapon rack to alleviate some storage pain. Um, of course, you can tell I knocked this wall out and added on to here. And so far, I've just moved my chem lag, the basic med bench my loom over here and then the sewing table is new nothing too exciting there though kind of a whatever still need a few things advanced parts is a big one and glass but of course for glass I need to go get more limestone that's pretty much all that you guys missed oh wait no Seen the second solar array. These crops are almost done. Yes, they are done. Cool. And then I got the greenhouse built with a beehive. And I just got all these guys planted. So I did this set and half of these. And then last night I finished these. So the crops are a little staggered now, which would be nice. And then I can figure out this whole cooking side of the game. Alright, now that I brought you guys up to speed here. Need to ditch out this stuff in my bag. See the gunpowder I need. Oh, find this bench. Batteries are still holding stable. There, put the saltpeter in the chemical lab. So we can make more gunpowder. Put 
Show this rotten food to our piggy. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's a good boy. I think we'll call him Franklin. Franklin the pig. Alright. So I want to show you guys the fishing loop because it was kind of confusing to me at first. And the fishing rod you can get at any merchant. So that's step one is you'll need a fishing rod. And then, whoops. Can't actually do anything with it except clip it or drop it. But we're going to stick it in our quick slot. And then the fishing line, which takes a lot of plant fibers. 20 for one roll of fishing line. But you're going to want a few on you because they will break. And then the bait costs two rotting food to make. So all we have to do is equip these two in our inventory, or put them in our inventory. I had uh, any body of water, I'm pretty sure. I know this little stream will produce. Fail. And you see, all we have to do is get close to water. And then left kick, click to cast. And this next part's quite confusing. We're going to want to pay attention to the bar on top. See, there's a little bit of a delay, but I got to click, 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 click. I'm just rapidly clicking the left mouse button keep it in that green. Again, we're looking at the top bar. The bottom bar is the progress bar. Okay, so we got a sea bass. Very nice. So if we pull out our knife, dismantle such sea bass, it will give us some fish sticks. And I think this one's, yeah, four. Nice. So it seems like the lower quality fish will give you one or two, and then the sea bass for sure gives you four. Very good. Let's try that again. Left click to fish. And again, watch that top bar. I noticed when it kicks on, there's like a one second pause. Oh shit. Ah, oh, broke the line. Yeah, if you go too high, break the line. Yep. Snap. Yeah, it seems like the difficulty definitely swings. Sometimes that, oh, come on. Sometimes that green bar is a little smaller. I think, well, maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm pretty sure. There we go, we got something. Got another fish. But you'll get uh, sticks and I've gotten cloth so far. That's a salmon. I don't think I've caught a salmon yet. Go ahead and cast her out again. And then I will show you how to make the fish sticks. Oh, it's like a bread or something like that. Really, there's a couple things that you can make with the fish, but this one food works really well. Cool. So we got a couple salmon. We cut up that sea bass. Now I need to find a couple mushrooms to complete this recipe. Let's have a look-see here, see if I can't locate any shrooms. I had a couple that were close to my base, but I built over top of them, so now I'm just gonna have to find a different route. see any mushrooms along the ground? I am not seeing any mushrooms. Let's take a walk through the woods here and hopefully we'll stumble across some. Let's see rocks. I 
see wood. To get honeycomb, you gotta chop down trees. So I had to chop a lot of trees down last night to get the honeycomb. And you dismantle the honeycomb into honey. Just for that beehive, I needed like three. Plus, like you needed two to unlock the recipe. So it's a lot of tree chopping. That's the kind of stuff I save you guys from. I don't, I don't think I would enjoy sitting watching um, a bunch of trees being cut down. But I could be wrong. Dang, why is a mushroom when you need one? the mushroom was something that could be grown although they are pretty hard to grow in real life but still mushroom 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 not seeing any mushrooms over the only mushroom spawn in the area. Never actually explored up on this end. Like I've cut across that way to go to that trader. That is over there. Like I've cut up and around. There's like a bear and boar spawn over here on this side of this line. So I always kind of hugged out here. But they actually spawn like way over here. But still, I've never actually explored this up and around the top of the hill here. Mushrooms are one of the things that won't render in, unless I'm, like you can see those rocks way up there. So I'd assume the mushroom would spawn that far, but... spare you guys from the other boring stuff and here we are walking around in the woods looking for mushrooms so I will cut until I find some and bring you back at that point so you don't have to watch me walk in circles for an hour well guys we are still out here searching I did just kill a wolf down there um, kind of yeah like right in here at this split I Kind of like came on the back side of town, checked this little field area here, hopped the road, uh, checked this area down here, and then I come back up and across, and I got a little too close to a wolf. I had to take him out, and now we are just moving back uphill from down there, like down there's the trader. Still have not found a mushroom, guys. Like, come on, what is going on? Do they only appear after rain or something? I've... <sighs> I guess I've never actively hunted for a mushroom, so I'm not really sure. Like the ones at my base, it was just kind of an empty field with some brush. So I don't see why there wouldn't leave one up and around here. But still on that search for the elusive mushroom. Just wanted to bring you guys back for an update as I still search. Uh, lots of herbs up here. Go ahead and grab those. I feel like that'd be a great spot for a mushroom in real life. A little gully there. Be some fallen wood. I 
driving me crazy. Yep, so still looking, so I will just do a cutaway here until something interesting happens. And you know what I just noticed? Is I'm not seeing any rabbits or any any kind of wildlife. I'm pretty sure this game has rabbits in it at least. I wonder if they're only on certain parts of the map. But that is strange. Am I thinking of a different game? No. I could swear this game had rabbits in it. Hmm. Definitely gonna have to get out and do some more exploring. Just did a complete circle and still no mushroom. So, yeah, there's that. Man, look at that. Looks awesome coming in, don't it? Hello, Sasha! Definitely messed up building over top. I had a mushroom spawn under that piece of deck board here. It's like right in that corner. Yep, no longer there. And then there was one like right over here in that corner. Also gone. Bomber. So, I guess we're just going to have to cheat then. Which I don't like to do. But we're doing it. Three mushrooms. Okay, so let me show you this cooking recipe while I got you here. Alright, so we are going to take two fish meat and one mushroom cook that up you can also do like a one fish meat and two two water i think uh, rich fish steak 50 carbs and 30 protein Pretty darn good food right there. And mushrooms and fish, I mean, it doesn't get much more. And then rich fish stew, soup, 30 30 30, also pretty good. Let's cut up these last guys here. There we go, so that's the fishing loop I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna smoke up this meat, put this stuff away. And then with the herbs, of course, you can do somebody said like cooking with clean water is the way to go. Oh look, that one didn't work. Either one of those worked. Interesting. So I guess it's not a every time recipe. It's whenever the game wants you to give it to you. So with the herb and water, another way to treat food poisoning if you can't find any of the gastric meds. Alrighty, so I'm going to cut that there, and thanks for joining along.